Buongiorno a tutti! Welcome back again to this new lesson of Learn Italian with Lilla. Today we are going to talk about the indirect object pronouns. We use the indirect object pronouns after a preposition. They are me, te, lui, lei. We use se if the complement refers to the same subject of the sentence. For the plural, it will be the same, noi, voi, loro. Make sure to watch this video until the end so you can do the exercises as well. And don't forget to watch the video about the prepositions. Let's see now how to use the indirect pronouns with the prepositions. Mario l'ha detto solo a me. Mario only told me. La casa è sorvegliata solo da te. The house is watched only by you. Lui crede in sé. He believes in himself. We use se when the subject is the same, so it's a reflexive. Vengo con voi. I come with you. La spia è nascosta tra loro. The spy is hidden among them. Lo faccio per noi. I do it for us. Conto su di te. I count on you. We use the both prepositions in this case because it's followed by an indirect pronoun. Otherwise, we only use su if it's followed by a noun. Now let's take a look at the other pronouns we have when we're talking about to whom. When we're talking about to whom, a me, we can also use another form of the indirect object pronouns. They are mi, ti, gli, le, ci, vi, gli. These indirect object pronouns work as the direct object pronouns. Make sure to watch that video as well. We are going to use them before the verb in this case. Indicativo, congiuntivo and condizionale. We're going to use it after the verb. We're going to attach it to the verb in these other cases. Infinitivo, imperativo and gerundio. Let's take a closer look. Let's see now some examples about how to use the indirect object pronouns with a verb. Before or after. We put them before the verb when the tenses are indicative, conjunctive and subjunctive. Let's see. Ti telefono. I call you. Se mi telefonassi. If you call me. Gli telefonerei. I will call him. We put them after the verb attached to the verb in these other tenses. So infinitive imperative and gerund. Let's see. Voglio raccontarti una storia. I want to tell you a story. Raccontaci tutto. Tell us everything. Sto raccontandole la mia vita. I'm telling her about my life. Let's do some exercises now. It's time now for you to practice a little bit. You have here some sentences and you have to fill the gaps with the pronouns in brackets. Just pause the video and do the exercise. Let's see. Quando Mario torna, gli dirò che sei passato. Giovanna ha quattro figli e parla sempre di loro. Spiegami come ti senti. Sono contenta per te. Giulia parla sempre di sé. Se venite a casa mia, vi faccio assaggiare il mio tiramisù. I hope you got them all right. If you have any doubt, you can just leave a comment below. Please follow our channel and I'll see you for the next lesson. Ciao!